Hey guys, the objective for this video was to derive formulas for fully developed laminar pipe flow using Newton's second law. So here we've got fully developed uh, laminar flow in our pipe. You can see uh, the velocity distribution is parabolic. Now if we consider um, a, a cylindrical shaped uh, element of, of, of fluid in our pipe, it's going to initially look like this. And then at a time t delta t, these flat hands ends here are going to distort because we've got a differential uh, velocity um, over, over our cross section. So we've got the largest velocity in the center and then we've got the least velocity uh, at the, the walls here. Actually the velocity there is uh, zero. Um, so another thing we have is we've got our local acceleration equal to zero and our convective acceleration equal to zero. Um, because we've got fully developed flow, um, that means that the acceleration is all equal to zero. All our forces need to be um, balanced. Um, so if we have a look um, at our uh, stress block here, we can work out what the forces are that are acting on that um, fluid element. So at the, um, at the front here, or should I say at the back, it initially has um, a pressure driving force. So that'll be equal to the pressure multiplied by the area that it acts on, which is going to be a function of the